We're here for the first episode of uh, the Sioux, uh, Sioux Sports Network podcast of Sioux College with the women's basketball coach Nick Caron and his two players. Nick, can you introduce your players? This is Cassidy and this is Brooke. Nick, can you uh, talk about Cassidy and Brooke's first four games in the season so far? Um, so far, they both had their strengths and their weaknesses. With, uh, in Cassidy's sake, being a rookie, she's still learning the game. Different speed from high school, different competition in high school. Uh, she came from a very successful program. They only lost one game. Um, now she's more or less the little fish in the big sea. Um, as for Brooke, um, you know, last year her stats were great. She finished the year sixth in scoring. Um, she hasn't got off to the best start. She, she's missed more shots than I obviously know she wants to. Um, so we're looking for improvements there. And the season's young, and we're just looking for improvements. Now, like say, you're coming off this weekend in Mohawk, 82 to 40, 69 to 48. Can you comment on this, the weekend's games? Um, scores alone, I mean, if we compare last year to this year, there's improvements in both scores. Um, you know, Mohawk's a good team, they're ranked number two. They play at a, a really high pace. Our goal plan going in was to slow them down, which if I mean, you look at the first score, I think they scored 80 points was about their average. So our game plan wasn't met there. The second game, we were able to hold them to 69 points, so we kept them under their average, so our game plan worked there. Um, but again, it's early in the season, and it's just you know, constant go, continue to battle, continue to find out on film what we're doing wrong, and continue to make those corrections. And like this week, you're headed in, like week four, you're headed in to get some Hawks. Not to ask for any secrets, but what do you have to change going into week four compared to the last three weeks? I think the thing that we need to change is just consistency. Uh, this team scores, you know, we have quarters where we score 20 points. Then we have other quarters where we struggle to score five points. Um, defense, uh, sorry, defensively, we seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, we hold most of our opponents to under 20 points a quarter, but we're not scoring. Um, that doesn't really help us out. So this week, we're going to continue to look for consistency on both ends of the, on the court. I think that's the biggest thing right now is finding ways to score and to make stops. And Brooklyn, you're going to your fourth season this year? Yeah. With being fourth season, fourth season, like say going into your fourth week, what do you think has to change as a veteran? Change the team chemistry to maybe hopefully get a win this weekend. Um, I feel that we need a better effort from everyone, and I just feel like since everyone came from out of town, like most people came from out of town, they all we all play different um, levels of basketball, and like we're all different ages, so it'll take a bit to blend together as a team. But I think it'll take time, but then we'll be fine after. And Nick, like we've talked off camera before, it's, you're still in the building process. It's right here at Sioux College with the women's program, right? Yeah, to, to touch on even what Brooke said, um, Humber comes in this weekend starting three fourth years, one fifth year, and one third year. We're currently starting one fifth year, or excuse me, one third year and four first years. Um, both programs are at different ends, um, but like I said, we just continue to improve on both sides of the ball. And hope for more consistency this week. Now, now, Brooke, going into being your fourth year, and like I said, I've watched you on the court. Like I said, with your intensity, what fuels that intensity and that passion? Uh, I just feel like the adrenaline. The adrenaline is what gets me going in games. I just get to the point where I can't feel anything, and I'm just I'm just so determined to score and get the ball, and I just want to win. So I just put it all on the floor and give it as much effort as I can. And leave it out there. Yeah. Now, Cassidy, you're, you're from Timmins, right? Yes. Now, what's the difference coming from Timmins playing playing basketball at high school to uh, the OCAA basketball? Um, well, like Nick said, it's a, quite different because in high school, it's you don't have as many athletes to pick from, and usually it's not like the, it depends. Like some players are a lot weaker on some teams than others. Where as if when you come out of high school and you come to college basketball, a lot of these players are picked and. Uh, more of the top players which makes a big difference and changes the game and intensity by a lot so that is the big difference and like so you're putting more time in playing basketball you, your school's first in basketball is after that right yes so like yes. say it's a lot more work it's high school you got a lot more things going on yes so nick like say going up against humber this weekend you guys have 257 points for and 414 against and they've played two games like say three ga three games and they're 218 for and 155 against. How do you keep it a little bit closer when it comes to scoring this weekend? Um, well, as far as statistics overall, um, our schedule is a little different than theirs as opposed to we, we've played uh, Banshaw, who's ranked number three, St. Clair ranked number 
four, and Mohawk plays number two. Uh, we play hum hum excuse me, Humber this weekend, who is number one. We play the top four teams in our conference. Uh, we don't have the advantage of playing every team, um, playing common opponents as opposed to the rest of the division. Um, so with that being said, I mean, Humber puts up points at a mass, starting with CJ. Uh, we have to make sure we can shut her down. And like I said, it has to start on the defensive end of the court. Uh, we can't allow them to score 25 points um, a quarter. They've proven that they can do that. Last year, I think they put up in the 90s on us. And you know, I'd like to, I'd like to get that way down this year. So that's definitely one of our goals. We're gonna try to focus on the defensive end and, and keep them from putting up numbers at high amounts. And saying that, like I say, stats don't always reflect it, but going to this weekend, you guys, like say, with rebounds, you're 15 out of 18, so they say you want to shut them down a little bit on the defense. Yeah, we've been working on that all week. We've been more physical in practice. Um, you know, those are effort plays, I think. Those are things the girls just got to make contact, not be as scared, and understand it's part of the game. Contact is part of the game as in any sport. Um, yeah, that, that's obviously one of our devil advocates. You know, we, we make the stop, we give up another rebound. Team puts it up again, they get another rebound. If we can get that stop and turn the other way, um, that's going to help us on both ends of the court. Now, Brooke, like I say, being a veteran on the team and, and one of the leaders, how do you like help Casper or like say rookies to adapt, like say, to more of the, the college basketball in different situations where she's coming off of it and it's not against the team, but coming from a team that only lost one game last year compared to this year where you guys are fighting to get a win? How do you help the rookies that way? Uh, well, I just share like, my experiences that I've had being on the team for the last few years. I've been through so many different things. We've had to face so many different like injuries, people quitting, so much adversity that we've had to push through. So I feel that with this team this year, I feel that um, everyone's willing to be here. They want to win. I just feel like it's a big difference from the past. So that's what made me help everyone. Now, Cassie, with you coming in as a rookie, what are your, what are your goals for this year? I think you're six games in, but you still got, like I said, more than um, half a season left. Well, my biggest goal is just to keep improving every game as it goes on. Um, just to improve on any, everything in every different way um, when it comes to rebounding, shooting, um, bringing the ball up, passing. Um, it's just really to improve and then hopefully help the team improve also. Um, and just hopefully change the program around also. And Cassie, did you expect, like say, coming in the first season, the OCAA, um, on an average, you're, you're leading team in minutes played, and uh, your third in scoring, did you expect that your first year? Um, no, I was actually quite surprised. Like, I was expecting some playing time, but I was not expecting as much as I would have gotten, and it was, it's kind of a great feeling. <laughs> and from the coach's point of view, what do you think of it? giving her that much time is that um as i said earlier she comes from a winning program she knows what it takes i think she's averaging just under eight points per game i think she's around 6.5 rebounds per game um, she's a young she's a young athlete i mean i hope by the end of the year she's reaching double figures in both um, but you know in high school she was more of a facilitator um, she knew you know girls were ready on the three-point line she looked to pass to them first maybe she thought of her, herself second um, we've asked her this year, uh, one of the goals that I'd like her to see her more is to take the opportunities for herself. Look to shoot first, then look to pass. Um, and it's something that's going to take time. It's something that she's not accustomed to. But I think in the end, if she can develop that kind of repertoire to her game, it's going to make our team strong. Now, Brooke, I'm always putting a couple of questions that I never tell you guys. So uh, uh, for you, and it's not against any of your teammates, if you're uh, Shipwrecked on an island, who would you want as a teammate to be on the island with you? Oh boy. <laughs> um, probably Cassidy, actually. Why is that? Uh, she's always there for me, and she's always positive about everything. And she's always there for everyone else, too. Always helping, always doing whatever she can for anybody. So, I feel like she'd be a good one to have. Cassidy, who's the biggest jokester on the team? Uh, and why? <laughs> Probably Brianna. <laughs> Why is that? Um, I don't know. She's just she comes in with this always this bright smile and this funny attitude, and it just kind of changes the whole mood. Even if you're winning or losing, right? Yeah. 
And Nick, the la last question is, uh, how do you keep, the, with, with a zero and six record, how do you keep them motivated to, uh, like say, when you come into the Humber or playing, how do you keep the spirits up and them motivated to keep well, going? As I said earlier, like I said, it was no surprise we got our schedule in April. We knew who we had. Um, fourth ranked team, third ranked team, number two, and number one. Um, when we sat down as a team at the beginning of the year, our goal was to make playoffs. Um, six teams make playoffs. Um, we've only played four teams. I know, like you said, we played six games, but it's really three teams. Um, and the girls get that. I think the girls understand that, you know, these six losses do not have an impact on our season as long as we take care of business moving forward. Um, we've got to clean up our mistakes, continue to be consistent. And like I said, I, I think we're, we got a good opportunity to make playoffs if we can hold our own down the rest of the stretch, but it has to work from everybody. Everybody has to buy in and agree. So with that being said, I think that's what they use as motivation. Um, I don't think they look at this season and think, you know, six wins, or excuse me, six losses, you know, the season's over, let's think about next year. Uh, we've discussed every scenario after three games, after six games, and I, I think the morale is good. Um, we're looking forward to this weekend. You know, we got a team that hasn't lost a game in 39 games. Um, they're a great team. We hopefully we'll give them our best effort and we'll see what happens moving forward. Well, thank you very much and good luck this weekend. Thank